these are the three things that we are going to be covering during this live training. Number one, Mike is going to actually show you how to negotiate the best deals that you could get from a merchant, AKA your client, right? The second thing, we're gonna change it up guys, okay? Get up, he's gonna show you how to invest and buy crypto properly for beginners, okay guys? And he's gonna show you how to do that right now inside of ATM Business for Beginners. And then lastly guys, I'm gonna show you four simple steps on how to launch your ATM business. Hey guys, my name is Paul Alex. I am the founder of ATMtogether.com and ATM Business for Beginners. I want to welcome you to our live training every single Tuesday inside of the ATM Business for Beginners Facebook group. I am co-hosted on this special live training with my partners, Gadam Jonas. Going on, guys. And Mikey Mike. How you guys doing? All right, guys. Well. So we have a special treat for you guys on this special live training. Now, if this is your very first live training, welcome. Like I said, we have built this community within less than a year, up to 12,000 members, over 600 clients nationwide that we have helped build their ATM businesses from literally the ATMs to the internet, to the processing, to the locations, phenomenal results, changing lives throughout the, the nation, guys. Now, with that being said, we have a very special um, training with you guys. Now, these are the three things that we are going to be covering during this live training. Number one, Mikey Mike. Mike is going to actually show you how to negotiate the best deals that you could get from a merchant, AKA your client, right? Nobody likes giving away free money. And so we do not here at atmtogether.com. We've actually helped clients just like Dante Mershaw with four locations, making $3,000 in passive income from his locations and not having to give any of the surcharge fee to the owners, okay? So Mike's gonna show you exactly the information that we have, that we provide to our clients to, so you guys can use after this live training. The second thing, we're going to change it up, guys, okay? We're going into 2022. We have to adapt. Remember what I always said. If you guys have been following us for these past few months, we have to pivot, okay? Now, with technology on, on the rise and 2022 coming into play, crypto, NFTs, time to invest, right? Now, we're not out of the game yet, guys, okay? That's why we have Bitcoin with our ATMs now. You're able to sell crypto from the ATMs. So you have the best of both worlds. Get them started, is starting Crypto for Beginners early Q1 of 2022. He is currently looking for 30 case studies, okay? Meaning that you watching right now can be one of his client success stories. And for the price, for the price of, actually, I'm, I'm gonna let, Get him do his thing later on. I'm getting too, I'm getting too excited right now, okay? But he's going to show you how to invest and buy crypto properly for beginners, okay, guys? And he's going to show you how to do that right now inside of ATM Business for Beginners. And then lastly, guys, I'm going to show you four simple steps on how to launch your ATM business, okay, guys? So with that being said, if you guys are very excited to learn how to negotiate, not to give split charges away to the merchants, then go ahead and comment below in the comments, profits. That's going to be P-R-O-F-I-T-S, profits, guys. And then Mike's going to go ahead and take it. Go ahead, Mikey, Mike. All right. Thanks, Paul. Hey, uh, glad to be here, you guys. Love being able to fit my schedule in and open up some time so I could be on these lives. Um, you know, I got a wealth of information for you guys. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, I am the official processor with ATM Together. Uh, I handle pretty much everything in the background. I, I handle everything tech related. Uh, I handle helping you set up your ATM, provide with, provide with you with all the wealth of knowledge to get you started and in getting everything installed. And uh, also setting up your network, your back office. Uh, I handle ATM orders and uh, everything in between. So um, it's really good to be here. Uh, I'm super excited to share some of this information because when I first started out, I did not know this information. Um, I had to learn it on my own. You know, I've been in the business uh, going on eight years now, got a little over, I think I'm on 92 ATMs now. And uh, we manage a whole fleet and process for uh, a lot of ATMs throughout the, across the country. So 
Um, just little tips and tricks that I've learned, you know, just kind of going through the trenches and learning what works and what doesn't. I come from a sales background um, and I, I noticed with ATMs, it, it's a lot easier than you think. You know, a lot of people overthink it, overthink sales. I think that's the biggest problem. So a lot of people overthink sales. Keep it easy. And the biggest thing you got to do, uh, and I'll get right into this, you guys, um, is just being a relator, uh, being a likable person. People want to buy from people that they like. Um, and if you come in just trying to hard sell somebody, especially in today's age, uh, they're just not going to, they're just not going to buy from you. Uh, they see advertisements all over the place, on Facebook, social media, at home watching TV, the last thing they want is a hard sale. Just go in and, and, and really my best tip here, this is number one, is go in and compliment, get to, know your, get to know your business owner, who you're dealing with, your merchant, and compliment them on their business. A lot of businesses out there spend a lot of time and effort and years sometimes building their business and their brand. There's no better compliment, no better way or easier way than getting in and introducing yourself and starting by complimenting what they have built. Okay, that instantly gets you in through uh, their closed doors and builds trust pretty quickly. Okay, um, some of the things I really want to go uh, through, also some people are just really difficult to get through. And uh, what I can kind of give you as a tip is being persistent, uh, you know, I've said this before in other lives, uh, being persistent wears down people's resistance. And that is true. And I'll give you an example of that. Uh, I had a one, of, it's actually one of my best locations. They do a little over 2000 transactions a month. I knew it was going to be good. It was going to be high volume. It took me a year and a half to get this account. Okay. I mean, of calling once a month, to the per once I got a hold of the person that actually was making the decisions, it took me a good year and a half of calling once a month. And by the time um, a year and a half came, the last conversation wasn't good. Like it was literally, Mike, you're driving me crazy. Don't call me ever again. They cussed me out. And it was just bad, right? And I apologized. And then at the end, uh, I'll never forget it because she just says, I do like that you're persistent and you don't give up. She says, but don't call me again. So I said, no problem. That's fine. Of course, in my head, I'm going to call her in three months anyways. But we get off the phone and two weeks later, uh, the, the main owner, which they never see, they ended up talking and said, you know what? It's about time we get an ATM in here. Guess who the first person she thought of? It was me. And I got a call from her literally... <laughs> two weeks later and she said mike you drive me crazy but we love you and uh we want to do business with you we need atms in both of our stores i didn't know they had two stores uh, so being persistent is key and the more you know it's they say it takes about seven times for people to really kind of let it get in the back of their mind subliminal subliminally and remember you and so uh, in this case it was more like you know 16 times it was once a month, drove them crazy, but I ended up getting a deal. They do 2,000, that's one location, 2,000 transactions a month. It's amazing. You land a deal like that, you can literally pretty much retire overnight. So it, it deals like that are out there for sure. I'm not saying every deal is like that, but there are deals like that out there. Um, the other thing is, you know, I want to give you guys a, a list. If, if uh, you, you know, have a pen and paper, some of the locations you really want to target um, is, uh, and you may want to write this down. And if you're really excited to hear this list, because I haven't shared this on a live before you guys, just write share right there in the comments. It helps our ag uh, algorithm. And uh, yeah, for sure. I've got a whole list of places that can help you guys. And then I'll get in really quickly on how to negotiate these deals and, and how to really make it to where you can make all the profit. So, um, go ahead and drop that gold, Mike. Yeah, drop let's that do gold, it as man. all gold. We got, we got bars, we got bowling alleys, which is a very, very bowling alleys do three, 400 transactions a month. Nobody knows that. Got a local bowling alley, they need an ATM because all them old schoolers that are in league bowling, they all gamble. So, it, it, those are some of my best locations. Barbershops, coin laundry. 
convenience stores, gas stations, liquor stores, dispensaries, of course, horse and dog racing tracks. If you got one near you, nine times out of 10, the, the current ATM provider doesn't service it right, or they got old machines in there, time to hit them up. Grocery stores, salons, uh, spas. Spas are great too. They got a tip. Smoke shop, bait shops, restaurants, local, like, and another one is your local events. Find out in your town who's doing an event. I, we've got so many students, right, Paul, that that do outdoor events and they kill it. I mean, 1,400 okay. to 2,000 transactions in two days. Pay for two of your, three of your ATMs in just two days. I mean, I, you, you drop, you're dropping so much knowledge, brother, that, that <laughs> I can't even keep up. I can't even touch that fast. Fire right now. <laughs> dang it, dang it. I'm glad this is being recorded. I'm going to go back and rewatch it. So your local events, find out who's doing You're the king when you show up with your ATM, you, you know, and that's a whole nother way to negotiate with them. You can get in there and not pay a vendor fee and basically um, get in there and uh, you, you don't have to pay a vendor fee. You don't have to do any splits. And you just say, hey, I'm going to waive my fees uh, of dropping this ATM in here in, in, in exchange of providing a community service. It increases all the vendors' sales by 20%. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. That is, that is for sure a, a good one. Um, so now if you guys want more information, feel free to reach out to me. Find me on Facebook. Add me as a friend. Uh, you can reach out to me personally. Um, but those are all some very good locations. And you know, I kind of want to get into uh, why you should have an ATM now versus waiting, you know, for a location. I really like to always have an ATM in my garage, even though I have a shop and I have all our ATMs stored there with parts and everything. I like to have an ATM in my garage in front of my, in front of my, sitting in front of my car before I leave every day. You get in the garage, you get in your uh, car. The first thing you look at is I've got to go out today be motivated to get stop by at least two or three locations. It's so important because it motivates you by having that ATM in hand and ready to go. Because if you get a merchant, you can install it same week, in some cases within two days. So you look really legitimate and a good company to, to have an ATM on site. And it reminds you every day. And, you know, sometimes we forget things and it just kind of you forget about it, but if you have it on you, you're going to be the one that uh, it, it's just going to motivate you to install that machine. So, you know, three, I want to get into three different ways to negotiate a deal, you guys. Um, that's really, really, really what I want to discuss on, on this live here is how to not give these owners any splits. I mean, it's you want to get into a place and you want to not give away the boat, right? Or give away the whole enchilada. Well, how do I do that? So one of the first ways, you know, as you have your ATM in front of your car, you're stopping at locations, you're hitting the ground running. And of course, you've got, you're being persistent because you're not going to get a yes every time. You're going to go through a lot of no's before you get yeses. But you hit every place seven times. It averages about seven times before someone says yes. Um, is you're getting good with, you know, obviously the, the, the merchant and the owner knows you. He's seen you before. He's ready to buy. The way you pitch it is just, you don't even mention about surcharge splits because these owners are so used to paying credit card fees. They, the big thing is like, what is it going to cost me? That sounds expensive. An ATM and processing, they're thinking they have to pay for processing because they're already paying processing with their credit cards. So what you do is you go in and tell them, hey, free ATM, we maintain everything and do everything for you. It's out of sight, out of, your, out of mind. We know you're busy and we're going to take care of everything for you. About 80 to 90% of the time, wow, free is too good to be true. Like, that's great. When can you install it? That's when you get the contract signed. And you don't even mention the, the splits because the, the, the time you mention the splits and say, hey, and you try to push them, I'll, I'll give you 50 cents or a dollar a transaction for letting me put in here. Now it becomes a, a negotiation battle. And you're sitting there in a war with him trying to figure out the splits in the deal for weeks sometimes. So you mentioned free, out of sight, out of mind. We take care of and service everything for you. Nine times out of 10, they're going to accept it 
and you're not giving, you're collecting all the surcharge. Now there are some cases where the merchant will say, hey, look, well, what's in it for me, right? Like they may know something, they've had an ATM in the past before. And you just say, look, uh, you, you start digging into questions. Have you had an ATM before? They say no. And you just say, hey, look, um, I'll give you 25 cents a transaction. That'll help you lower your credit card fees. And again, I'll pay for the ATM and uh, we'll, we'll provide the cash for the ATM. So usually that's enough for them to budge. But again, you're not giving away the whole enchilada. You're giving them 25 cents a transaction. So, um, you know, there's three different ways to, uh, to negotiate because sometimes you've pitched it so well. And some, I mean, there are some, uh, you know, when I go sell, to like, well, I want to buy the ATM. I want to, I want to make all the surcharge. That's fantastic. I could do that for you. you. You upsell the ATM more than you got it for because you get it wholesale from us. The lowest cost out there, by the way. Um, you upsell the ATM and then you charge them 25 to 30 cents per transaction to process for them. And I can help you set that up for you. A lot of processors won't even mention that to you and they don't help you do that. We do. Um, but you can make residual income by upselling the ATM and basically making 30 cents a transaction for doing nothing. And what you get from that is an owner who refers you business. So you're going to get all kinds of deals from that, that business because now you're making him money. So that's, that's one way of doing it. Um, the, the other way is you got this merchant that's just really hard headed and goes, I want half of that, half of that surcharge. Great, I could do that too, but you either got to vault it, which means for everybody new, the merchant puts their own cash in there and the, you know, you do a 50-50 split. So basically you give half of the surcharge, which means the fee coming from the ATM um, and you, you either buy the machine or you load your cash in it or vice versa. And so, you know, a lot of the times they'll accept that um, if, if it isn't a good deal and they want half and you do everything, then just walk away from the deal. On to the next. Uh, one other way I wanted to get into with you guys is uh, obviously just the first pitch is basically you want to have your own ATM in there. You want to service it. And then you pay, you take, you load your own cash in there and you also make all the surcharge. And so that is, uh, some of the ways I, I know of how you can go in and there's always ammunition pretty much to adjust of how the merchant responds to you. And so uh, always go in there, try to put your own ATM in there and give them no surcharge. That's always number one, but at least you have the 50, 50 split deal or you have the merchant buying everything and you're making residual. Audit. You always have a way to go with these merchants. And those are the three primary ways. Okay. Um, now, the other part is I got some questions today from students, actually three students asked this today is, what if the location already ha has an ATM? Okay, so that's a great question. Um, if I go in there and I know it's a great location, they have an ATM. The first thing I'm thinking is how are they being serviced? Is it, are they, are they getting great customer service? Does the ATM run out of cash? Is it down all the time? Always broken? So. The students that came to me today, they said, I've been in the locations and it's been down for three months. Perfect opportunity, you guys, perfect opportunity. Because you never let that ATM go down. Everyone loses money, merchants are upset. You go in there and say, I will never let this machine run out. It will, I will service it same day. And how can I earn your business to get, a, get you a brand new machine in here? Because a lot of the times they're older machines. And so, the first question you really want to ask uh, is that, how is their service? Number two is going to be, are you in a contract? And if you are, when does it expire? So if they're locked into a contract and they've got good service, you go in and try to beat the deal, negotiate a better deal than they're getting now, and then mark in your calendar when that contract expires so you can go back out there and pitch a better deal. And so I've, I've taken a lot of counts out like that. Um, and so really that, that's, that's what I got. That's my golden nuggets for tonight. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And yeah, those are gold. And that, that's coming from, uh, an entrepreneur that's been in the game for, uh, what, Mike, eight, nine years now. Um, almost eight, almost eight years, I'm coming eight, up eight years, years, guys. I mean, eight years, 92 ATMs. I mean, Jesus, that's, that's quite a bit of ATMs, you know? 
I'm like, yeah, we pr- I'm like the stress. <laughs> <laughs> Between my partner and I, we process for a little over 3,000 machines across the country. So we've got there clients go. all over the place. We've got cash vaulters in every state. I mean, there isn't anything we can't do. And exactly. we're getting ready to expand. And here in a couple of lives, maybe, maybe the beginning of next year, I'll have some really, really good things to announce that's coming down in the pipe. That's going to be great for all of our clients and stuff that nobody's doing, but even the big boys aren't doing, we're going to, we're causing ripples in this, in this industry and just sure. changing the way, changing the way we do it. No, absolutely. So, it's we, been we, great. We definitely have to get a uh, Lee on one of these lives, man, just to say hi, you know? Absolutely. He mentioned that the other day. He says, I'm going to get on one of those, you know? For yeah, sure. You know, for sure. Know. We got, we got to <laughs> set up the, the zoom cam and everything for him, man. But um, no, that's good info. That's good info, Mike. And I appreciate you, brother. Um, to piggyback on one last thing that Mike said, just let me shoot you guys a little bit of my experience. Okay. Uh, one thing that worked big for me. Okay. Whenever I would see a ATM that was not functional, uh, that was not working, or maybe it just looked like it was torn to pieces. Like you, you guys ever been to like a liquor store or a grocery store where the ATM is so old or so run down that you're like, mm, should I even put my card in there? Like, h- how many of you guys have done that? Co- comment in the comments below. I'm just saying, okay? Sure. Um, I mean, I, I think I- I've ran into several of those like in-, in bars, especially bars, like divey bars, you know, where they do the graffiti all over the ATMs or whatnot. But, but with that guys, um, what I have done was worked in my experience is if you are able to swing it, okay, offer them a brand new ATM, first see what they're charging and see if you're able to raise the surcharge fee, okay? If you are, now you have some leverage. You have some leverage to actually go in there, offer them all the best features, the nooks and crannies of the Bitcoin integrated Bitcoin. ATMs, letting them know you're going to give them that grade A service, letting them know why you're the best, and then show them your client testimonials, right? After you do that, then it's the icing on the cake, guys. And what is the icing on the cake? Icing on the cake is you throw down a couple hundred dollars for that old ATM and you tell them, you know what? I'm going to do you a big, big, big favor. It's your birthday today. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple hundred dollars. And then on top of that, I'm going to remove that ATM and don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Now you guys can refurbish the ATM or now sell it on Facebook marketplace for some money, make your money back on what you paid the owner and boom, you just landed yourself a phenomenal location guys. So other than that, I mean, that's my two cents, guys. You guys can take it. Um, it's worked for me tremendously. Um, but what Mike dropped is definitely a lot of golden nuggets. All right. Um, okay. So on to some uh, crypto talk. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you guys are ready to invest in crypto or you just simply do not know how, trust me, I barely just started investing into crypto, guys. It, it scared me. And the reason why is because the news, the media, they want to scare you saying, hey, hackers are going to get into your computer. They're going to take all your money. And, you know, with me, I like tangible items. I'm still old school, right? I still like writing pen on paper. I still like having cash in my pocket. At the end of the day, you got to get used to it, right? You got to go with the times. So with that being said, we brought in the expert. Fortunately, we have an expert that's been working with us for the past year here at ATMtogether.com. He is a seven-figure earner in the crypto space, which is why I pushed him so hard to start his own crypto program, okay? So with that being said, he's going to show you exactly how to invest and buy crypto on this live. Go ahead, get him. Take it. What's going on, guys? Paul, thanks for having me. Mike, great presentation. Paul, you it's almost good. sold me. For sure, for sure. Paul, you almost sold me on putting an ATM exactly where I was at. You're telling me all these features. I was thinking, man, where can I put an ATM here? <laughs> that's it. pretty good. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Hey, that's the sales gems. Both of you guys sharing all your knowledge. It shows the experience when you guys are talking. Just a hey, unconscious mastery is the same, right? I can tell you guys know. Thanks, Kevin. Cool, cool. I'm looking so, forward to learning about crypto. Learn, learn, for sure. Learn about crypto because I'm a For sure. Too. For sure. 
So, and I think Paul's up a good amount right now. Crypto's back up. So back in the day, right? Um, I like to always talk about how things started. So back in the day, how I started with crypto was years ago. It was, um, man, it was a few years to say the least, right? I was actually in London with a friend of mine, forward thinker, right? And I like to think of myself as a forward thinker. And when I say forward thinker, I think you have to think towards the future, right? You have to think where we're going, not a year from now, but five years from now, 10 years from now, maybe even 20 years, right? That's where you make the money. So I'm in London, you know, I was on vacation. Things weren't, things weren't doing too well for me, to be honest, right? The vacation was more of a getaway from life, right? We're talking, we're walking around London. This is years ago. And he brings up this thing called Bitcoin. And I was like, what coin? It's talking about like a quarter or like a bit of a coin or what are you talking about? I was like, no, man, it's the future. Is this the staying right? Keep in mind, this is like 2016. Right, so you already know where I'm going with this story. He says, I'm telling you, man, this is the future. I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about, man. Get your tin foil off your head, get the aluminum foil off also, and then take the hat off, right? <laughs> and I thought to myself, what, what, what's this Bitcoin thing, right? And he said, check this out. It's the future, it's digital, it's this, right? Transactions and all that. Hey, fast forward a week later, I'm looking into it. And I'm saying $600 for this, this thing I can't even see, heck is this? That's way too expensive. $600 for a Bitcoin. I can get, man, tacos. I can get some Chick-fil-A. I can buy myself a nice watch. I can get so much stuff with that. Why do I want to buy a Bitcoin, right? And then, I, you know, it intrigued me, right? The passion, right? And this is the passion I'm trying to pass on to you guys. It intrigued me. I was like, man, maybe there's something to it. So I signed up for every single website you can think of, crypto related. I'm talking everything. I'm talking... I had 90 tabs up in four different browsers and I just could not get enough info. And I was hooked. I was hooked on this thing called crypto, right? I was like, man, this is, this is the future, right? And this is years ago, right? I'm the guy in the street with the cardboard sign. Like, this is the future, guys. This is the future. No one's listening. And then I started to sign up for all the crypto exchanges, right? And just to, to keep it clear, a cryptocurrency exchange is actually somewhere you buy cryptocurrency, right? It's the easiest way. And when I say I signed up for everything, I mean, I signed up for everything, the good and the bad. There were some exchanges that got shut down and I lost a lot of money. Like you do not understand. There were some scams out there, right? And this is, this is the early stages. So there was no attention to it. So, hey, where do you go? You go on an online forum. You maybe run into somebody who knows what you're talking about and your money's gone. That's all you can do, right? So I learned, I learned the hard way. But I was in a tough spot and, you know, I was looking for a way out. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to stick with this thing, right? Years later, I'm here. Added a comma, added another comma to the bank account. And now I just want to pass that knowledge on to you guys, right? So if you guys are excited to learn that this is one of the simplest way to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, any cryptocurrency, for the most part, almost any cryptocurrency, comment crypto in the comments. C-R-Y-P-T-O. I hope I spelled that right. Crypto below. Let me know you guys are excited hey, and I'll show you right now live how to buy some cryptocurrency. Okay. I see a few comments. All right. Come on guys. You got to pump up those uh, comments and the algorithm. Reason why is because this is exactly how we are able to conduct free live trainings here at ATM Business for Beginners. We're trying to make this the biggest group on Facebook for ATM business, but also for crypto as well. Okay. So with that being said, just help us out, blow up the comments. We want to see crypto, 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 and then get them's going to drop some knowledge in just a couple seconds. Okay, guys. For sure. For sure. So there were multiple cryptocurrency exchanges, right? I'm sure you can think of a few, right? There's a few that I do not recommend. I won't, you know, they're probably gonna get mad at me if I name drop them. So Instead, I'm going to give you one that I recommend and I've used, and I've used them since the beginning, right? And I, I don't get any money. I don't have any financial incentive, but I want to make sure you guys are investing safely, right? So, and I've been working with these guys, their cryptocurrency exchange for at least six or seven years. You know, when you sign up for an account and it's actually numbered accounts and like your number is just three digits, but then they make it to like eight digits. You're one of those few OGs. 
I'm one of those people. So I actually like this place called Gemini, right? And if I remember correctly, they're still based out of New York City, right? So that's what stood out to me because there's there's a few international exchanges. Um, they stood out to me because, you know, US based, want to support US economy. And they're simple, right? When I signed up with them, this was years ago. There might even be a wait list right now, but they offer for the most part, almost every popular cryptocurrency you want to get, right? They have an application on their phone. I've gotten a lot of my friends, I've got my family to use this, right? And like I said, I don't gain anything from this, but I wanna make sure you're investing safely in crypto. So instead of signing in, I'm actually gonna create a new account, right? So I actually had to create a dummy email account because I didn't realize I've had my email address for at least 15 years now. So the simplest way is you're gonna to go to www.gemini.com. I have it up here, okay? And it's important that you make sure you're on the right website because there are a lot of scams out there and they try to imitate websites. For example, like your Google email, if you're using Gmail, there's actually imitation sites that'll look exactly like Gmail and they let you type in your name and your password. That way they actually have your login info, okay? So always double check the URL right here up the top, make sure it's correct, all right? And you should see this sign up top, that's their logo. So I'm actually gonna make a new account and they want me to reset. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start right over. Gemini.com. And this is why I actually like them. They, they keep track of your IP address. You know, they're serious, right? So first thing you're gonna do, right? First name. This is kind of like when I showed you guys how to form your LLC. Hey, there's a saying when it comes to a carpentry, measure twice, cut once, all right? So type in your name correctly because you're not changing this later, right? You're not changing a lot of this info later and this is gonna be an issue for you. So get them. If you have a middle name, you're probably gonna wanna put your middle name, Jonas. And my new email and hopefully my crypto bugs, you'll recognize the joke in this email, it's pretty cool. But my new email I just created, don't send me an email because I'm not gonna check this after this live, but I'm gonna sign in right here. And it's okay, I'm not gonna transfer any crypto here. So you guys might be able to see my password. Make sure you type a strong password. I can't stress the importance of typing a strong password. So they give you some suggestions. Uh, nowadays, I think you know some of these cell phones, maybe Android or Apple, they suggest some passwords for you. I haven't been a fan of that because there's no way I'm gonna remember it. So don't be the guy that does password one, password two, password three. When it comes to your money, Come on, if you're gonna put your social security somewhere, you probably wanna have a strong password. So be unique when it comes to crypto, all right? If you have a promo code, which I don't, add it in here, all right? You wanna check out the user agreement, privacy policy. I've already read this in the past. Like I said, I've been using this for at least six or seven years now. Go to next, right? So I am actually not gonna show you guys my phone number, right? <laughs> I've gotten a few missed calls. So I'll enter it in. You're going to enter in your phone number. And the reason behind this, I'll tell you later also, is for security purposes. When it comes to crypto, you want to have redundancies, right? And what I mean by that is you want to make sure that before actions are performed, meaning like transfers of money, sells, or buys of crypto, there's some type of verification process, right? And the reason behind that is what if someone gains access to your account and your life savings are in there? Do you want it to just be transferred like that? Or do you want to have it to be a little more difficult for you maybe, right? Maybe a little bit of an inconvenience. However, it's safer because you're going to get a text message on your phone with a security code. And I'm going to get this message and say, well, wait a second. I'm not trying to transfer any money. Like, oh crap, I need to log into my account. So I'll do my verification code. Now they're actually going to a lot of digits. Got my verification code and I'm in, right? So you do your verification code. They're gonna want you to verify your name. So any cryptocurrency exchange in the United States is gonna want you to verify your identity, okay? And the reason for that is because there's some tax reporting issues, right? So if you want, you can sign up for international exchanges, but you still have to verify your information. So I'm going to put my address, which you may recognize from the LLC video from a different live. 
is the same address in San Francisco, one, two, three, four. And hopefully they don't know because you guys are pretty good. Sign up, nine, four, one, two, four. My social security number. So this will be an issue, guys. I can't put my new real social security number in here. So I'm actually gonna hide the screen one more time, all right? And you can tell, see, as you can see, they're very thorough, right? And this is for tax purposes, but you also want this stuff to be added, okay? Do you, I hope I don't say it out loud. All right, so you enter your social security number, right? I can't show you guys, and then you enter your date of birth. Submit it, right? They're gonna ask you to actually verify your identity, right? So this is a very thorough process, like I said. And this is, I mean, you, at least you guys know now, expect to have all these documents. So now they actually want your driver's license or passport. So this is called KYC identification, right? So it's a regulation in the United States and they're saying that, hey, we need to verify your identity because before you transfer a million dollars in cryptocurrency to this account or even $10, we need to see, are you who you say you are? So I'll actually do my driver's license and you're gonna continue on your phone so I'm going to show it on here. Let's see if I can block my actual address. So have all these documents ready to go, okay? So it'll actually show you on here the way to do it. So when you link your cell phone, don't give a fake number. Don't use a home number, right? Other exchanges, sometimes they'll allow you to use your web camera. The more accurate way to do it is with your cell phone. And the reason why is because now they know it's actually linked, right? So it's sending it and it's the simplest way to do it. If you have an iPhone, if you have an Android phone, you just take a photo and it's gonna work, okay? So if you see on here, it's gonna tell you, hey, this is exactly how we're gonna verify your identity, all right? We're gonna send you an SMS, which is a short message, walk you through all the photos, okay? So I'm gonna press continue. However, it's gonna show my number. So I gotta block this just for a second. You're gonna continue through there, all right? Once you sign up, so I'm sending the link to my phone. And all of a sudden I have a notification, right? Notification on the phone. It's going to come in a text message and it says, hey, it says continue to your identity verification. Hopefully this shows, all right? I'm going to click on the link. This is all through your phone now. So make sure your phone's available. And then if you noticed when you actually go on the website itself, it changes automatically because it goes together. It's going to say, hey, keep this open. If you can't continue this right now, it's going to save it later because it has my email address on here also. So they'll send me an email asking a follow up and they'll say, hey, they want me to confirm my email address also. So I'm going to confirm my email. And then it's going to have you log in with your password and everything. So you're back on here. I want to verify my information. Okay. So I'm going to use my cell phone. I've got my California driver's license, front and back. I want you guys to know I'm my real age. You might think I'm a little too old, all right? Take the photo of the ID, take it in the front. Photos taken, all right? Upload it to it. It's gonna ask you, hey, make sure these are clear, right? So this may not work just because I have to block my information because they're probably gonna wonder, well, wait a second, how does this guy have one account and now he's, creating another account with a different email address. That would probably raise a red flag. So if it's a legitimate company, they're gonna want that. And then it's gonna ask you for a photo of the back also, okay? Take a photo of the back. Really simple. It's literally just like any photo you take. I'm gonna submit that also. This is all intuitive on your phone. So make sure your phone's with you, okay? Confirm that. And they're gonna verify the identity, all right? So unfortunately, they're probably going to say, hey, your identity is not the best because, first of all, your thumb's blocking half of your driver's license. But for the sake of simplicity, we're going to keep going through it, right? So automatically on here, it says, hey, you've already been authorized, submitted my verification, and I'm going to be waiting. But until then, they're going to give me access. Welcome aboard, right? This is the best feeling you get when you go on a cryptocurrency website, right? And if you look, all this stuff's going on. So I can't make any transactions and you're not gonna be able to make any transactions with a cryptocurrency exchange until you actually add a bank account and get your identity verified. And this is in the US, this is across the board, right? So the simplest method to buy crypto, like I said, I use Gemini, 
have all this info ready, have a bank account or a debit card or something to link with it. I'm not gonna link this, so I'll just say later. And it's gonna have a confirmation email on here also, right? Confirm my email, I'm switching to my account. And you can see how thorough they are because hey, at the end of the day, we need to verify your identity. So re-log in. I'm back in. And it's gonna text me a verification code. This is actually what's gonna pop up every single time you wanna transfer money, anytime you wanna buy a cryptocurrency, when you wanna sell it, or if you wanna withdraw a cryptocurrency. And it's extremely important, extremely important. You don't wanna lose your funds. Right now, cryptocurrency is the big thing. So, and it's the future. So you gotta see there's gonna be a lot of scammers trying to get access to your money. So you need to keep yourself safe. So you type in your verification code every time you wanna log in and they're gonna tell you everything you need to know. So it's gonna say the transfer option. If you wanna deposit money into your account, you'd want to add a verification. It'll ask you how much and how and which way you wanna do it. Some people will transfer straight crypto. So if you wanna transfer Bitcoin to the network, or if you wanna transfer Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever, I'm gonna do a US dollars like everyone else is. And then you wanna add a payment method. So there's gonna be a few different options. I usually link my bank account. They usually let you transfer up to, I think, $50,000 a day. For most of us, that's enough money for me, right? That's enough for my risk threshold that that's okay. If you wanna do more, you can do a wire transfer. You also need your bank links. Wire transfer, I think you can transfer up to a million dollars a day. So if you're at that level and you wanna trade a million dollars a day, hey, all to you. And this is the simplest way. They'll actually ask you to log in with whatever bank you wanna use, right? So obviously I'm not gonna log in with my real stuff. If you had say Chase, for example, you would log in, put in all your login info. It asks you to authenticate on a new browser and then fill it in. It would connect and automatically you'd be able to transfer that, okay? So I'm gonna exit it. When I'm purchasing crypto, this is the simplest way to do it, right? So say I have money in my account, it would pop up on the right side over here, okay? It'll tell me how much I have. And I'd actually be able to look at my balances and it would say, hey, right now you have zero dollars but it would show right here also. And I'd say, hey, it's $1,000 or $20,000, whatever you transfer, right? If you wanna start small, that's totally cool too. Then you'd go back and you'd actually purchase. So you'd go to the market and decide what you actually wanna buy. This is where you have to make your own decision. In my upcoming course that Paul snuck in there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you want to buy, right? And if you remember, Bitcoin was about like forty-seven dollars or $46,000 a few days ago. Look into the details, decide, hey, what do you want to buy? If you want to buy crypto, just buy it. And if you want, you can do a recurring method of buying, right? So right now I do once. And to be simple, I would just say $1,000. And then it asks you how much, and it would confirmation right over here. Once you have that actual balance in here, Unfortunately, I can't transfer money to this account because I'm not verified, like I said, regulations in the United States. I don't want to transfer money into a fake account. At $1,000, I'd continue the transaction, right? You just press continue. There'd be a verification page, press submit, and you're good to go, right? So you might buy when crypto's at, say, $50,000, and then it pops up to 51 and you sell. And maybe you buy again at 50 or it drops down to 49 again and buy again. Very simple, simplest way to do this, right? If you like what you just learned, right? The simplest method of how to buy crypto, right? If you want to learn how to invest safely, at the end of the day, like I said, right? Crypto is the new wave. There's a reason why ATM Together has cryptocurrency capable ATMs, right? We're not just sticking to money. We're playing both sides. When people get scared, when people get excited about crypto, guess who's making money the entire time? ATM business owners, right? So if you want to transfer your passive income, which is your ATM business, to another passive income source, if you want to learn everything there is to know about crypto, I am launching a brand new program in January of 2022. I'm looking for 30, all right? 30. 30, 30, 30. I'm looking for 30 case studies, okay? What does that mean? What's it mean when I say case studies? That means you're gonna get my entire program for free just because you're on the ATM Together Facebook Live because we believe in loyalty. 
All I want from you is when you go through this course, your feedback. I want a testimonial. I want to show you what I've learned over the past six years in the crypto space. If you're excited and you want to be a case study, should I say the word, Paul? Should I say the word? Okay. If you're excited and you want to be one of the 30 case studies, this is going to go quick. It's the beginning of December. Type crypto below. C-R-Y-P-T-O, crypto. I'm going to drop you the link to sign up. It's super important. When you get this link, put your email so I can email you. You become one of my case studies. All I want you guys to do is show the knowledge that I taught you. Again, crypto below if you want to be a case study. Yeah, ultimately, guys, um, crypto is something that everybody's going to have to learn. You might as well start now. I mean, that's that's one of the main reasons why I started. Um, the knowledge that Gedham has is phenomenal. Uh, he's a young dude that already has the social proof. That's the biggest thing. And with all of our clients, as you know, if you ever seen any of our recorded live interviews that me and Mike have done in the past with, with clients that me have, and Gedham have done with our clients in the past, every single one of them, the reason why they do business with us is because they're like, well, you guys actually do the business. And because you guys actually do the business, you understand this. So ultimately, you want to be taught by someone who's already done it with results or is currently doing it with results. All right. Don't just buy a course just to buy a course. You want to go with the actual person. That's who's going to bring you the value. OK, sure, so that's what you sure. guys have to see. All right. And then um, get them. Just make sure to let people know that you've dropped that link, man. I did. I did. I snuck it in there. If you guys are looking at the comments, I just dropped the link. It's going to be crypto for beginners. You already know what I'm going to teach you. Crypto for beginners. I dropped the link. Sign up below. Make sure you put your email so I can let you know. I'll put the link again. Yeah, guys. So, link in this comment. So, so it's just for clarity, okay? You have to make sure that you click on that link. Once you click on that link, it's going to tell you right there to click to enter your information. You're going to enter your full name. You're going to enter your email, and then you're going to get the confirmation page. If you don't get a confirmation page, guess what? You're not going to be part of the uh, case studies, okay? It's as simple as that, guys. Simple directions. Just clarity, right? So at the end of the day, make sure you follow instructions. If you have to uh, hit replay, go ahead and hit replay. But this is a phenomenal, phenomenal program. Be a case study. Trust me, I've been several, uh, several case studies for different entrepreneurs. And all I had to do was just give my true testimonial. You know, what did I think about it? Um, what results did it get me? How did I feel about it? Would I buy it? You know, that's what ultimately helps get them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that's, what's going to help you. So it's an even exchange. Okay. The value that he provides to you to help you build generational wealth for you and your family, just like he's built generational wealth for his family and himself. Okay. Mike, you have any two cents, brother? Yeah, this has been a great live. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of things to absorb. I totally get it. I'm like, Hmm, I'm already at the website. I'm about to put my email, you know, <laughs> Exactly. New, new being crypto. That's what I'm talking about. But the good thing is, you know, we got stuff rolling out for the ATMs too. Uh, a lot of stuff is changing and getting crypto on your ATMs, it's everywhere. You can make up to 2% on every sale on your ATMs in addition to your regular ATM transactions. So it's the, it's the future. It's the way it's going and the ATM business is adjusting with that. So for those out there that think, well, Cash is going to be obsolete. Well, that's not true because no there's always going to be a need for cash and there's 30% of the people out there unbanked. Yeah. But there's going to be a need for a lot of need for crypto as well. And mm -hmm. I just want to let everybody know that the ATM industry is shifting along with that. So exactly. a lot of good stuff coming out in 22 for sure. Yeah, 100%, man. I mean, it's so funny you said that. So I, I recently just went uh, holiday shopping and uh, I'm at the mall, okay? And... I uh, use valet. So valet is like, oh, cash only. Well, guess what happened? I had my, my BlockFi card, which gives me free Bitcoin, right? But I had no cash. So I'm like, oh, it's, isn't that something? <laughs> I sell ATMs and I'm in the ATM business and I don't even got cash on me. It was like, 
Wait, what's going on? You know how how painful you know, that was. You know what that means, right? You need to put an, a an ATM with an enclosure right there. I mean, that <laughs> it didn't have crypto on it. Dude, I was I was mad. I was mad. I, I I literally had to go use someone else's ATM. They charged me. Luckily, luckily they went soft on me. Only two dollars and fifty cents. Because trust me, guys, back in San Francisco, I mean, I'd be taxing. All right, four dollars, but people pay it. I mean, it's just that's just the way California is. California is expensive for 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 what it is, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean, they got me. What can I say? Uh, anyways, thanks. anyways. All right, good presentation, guys proud of both of you. Um, now I'm going to break it down to the beginners level. Okay. Because this is ATM business for beginners. I'm going to give you guys a quick run through on four simple steps on how you can start your ATM business today. Okay. Now with that, I'm going to do a share screen guys and just follow with me as I do this share screen. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, awesome. So, four simple steps to start your ATM business. Number one, let's talk about let's talk about your paperwork, guys. Now, paperwork is extremely important because whenever I talk to anyone who is not knowledgeable regarding the ATM business, right, they say, "Paul, what else do I need?" It's a very simple business, okay? Su super simple, where I just need to buy the ATM and find a location, right? I wish it was that simple. Trust me, that's probably how I started. And I lost about $7,000 my first year. Okay. And I'm going to go into that in just a little bit. It's an embarrassing story, but I feel like I have to tell you guys because this is how people learn. At the end of the day, you have to make mistakes. You have to go through hardships in order for you to learn in life. And sometimes it's a blessing, guys. Let me tell you that. I have learned. Trust me, I'm hard headed. I'm a Capricorn. All right. If you guys are into zodiac signs or whatnot, Capricorns are supposed to be hard headed. But at the end of the day, I learned and I moved forward. Okay. The biggest thing is just taking a step by step every single day, working on your business a little by little and not making excuses. Okay. So with that, you want to form your company, whether it's going to be 